Hello everyone and welcome back to our operating system practical series. Let us get started with our second assignment of operating system which is a program or C program to implement CD command of DOS or CHDIR command of Linux. So let us first go through the command execution. Let us visit file and DOS shell where we get inbuilt DOS shell to perform our DOS commands. So we are going to see the working of CD command which is change directory command or CHDIR command. Before that I need to create one directory so I will use the command md a zx1 i just want to keep the name unique so i'm randomly picking up letters but you pick up some names which are valid and meaningful so let us create this let us check whether this directory is created a z x1 enter so the directory is created it is initially blank so it is showing it is having zero bytes. Now we are going to change the directory location. Right now our directory location is C drive turbo C3 bin. And we are intending to change this location from bin to AZX1. Let us press enter. So yes, after executing this command, you can see the directory location is now C drive turbo C3 bin azx1 we are going to replace this working of cd command from our c program so let us first exit from this directory location for that we need to run command cd again close directory you can say dot dot or you can say change directory it, it will exit from the directory location and come back to bin and type exit and enter before that i need to change my directory location for that i have taken option file and change directory my c program is located in turbo c3 bin under my folder if you have kept it to bin let it be no need to change the directory location but if you have created a roll number folder or some other folder and keep your C program inside it. Do not forget to change your directory location. So I will press the chdir, which is change directory and OK. So now that we have understood how the command gets executed and works, let us go through our C programs code. For that, I have included our three basic header files. The first is standard input output dot h, second one, conu dot h, and the third, which is dir dot h, which is directory file. This header file includes all the functions required to perform DOS commands and related operations. So after that, we have kept our main. Inside main, we have taken integer argument counter and character argument vector, which is a pointer array. Further, we have decided the arguments, like you, we saw that change directory runs, like we have created one directory and we executed the command as cd space directory new. So the number of arguments become two. We have decided that we will count arguments from one. So the number of arguments were here, if the arguments become equal to 1, it will print message, which is invalid parameters. If argument counter becomes greater than 2, it will display a message, too many parameters. And our code should exactly work when arguments counter become equal to 2. When argument counter becomes equal to 2, we are going to check for chdir command. Again, we have used 
the inbuilt command we have passed our inbuilt command and checked for argument vector position one this vector is a pointer array so at position one was our cd command we executed the command as cd space directory name so the first position was our command and the second position was our directory name so we will check if argument vector position one is equal to zero if it is equal to zero it will display a message directory is created else it will display one error as easy as it is and mostly maximum of operating system programs are having same format of programming like we saw in the md command where we took argument counter and vector and we handled the arguments count we checked for the number of count and our code we placed our code exactly when the argument counter becomes equal to our desired arguments after that we'll just give the get ch function and close let us now perform the program execution steps in which first we will visit compile and go for compile second make use f10 to switch to menu link and finally build all after build all step one exe name will be prompted do not forget to write it down if it becomes a long elaborated name if it is a shorter one you can remember it in my case it is dot dot backslash dot dot backslash source backslash cd1 dot exe now let us go to dos shell i am clearing the screen using cls command and enter now let us create one directory maybe assignment 1 let us check the directory is created or not okay the directory is created and now i am going to change my directory location which is c drive turbo c3 bin ndp to assignment 1 for that now i will not make use of command instead i will make use of my exe name so dot dot backslash dot dot backslash source backslash cd1 dot exe space the directory name which is assignment 1 let us see whether it's it works or not and enter yes the message directory changed is prompted but the new directory location is not yet displayed let us again press enter yeah so the location now is c drive turbo c3 bin ndp and it has changed from ndp to assignment 1 now if you want to again switch back to the original location type cd dot dot enter and you can exit from here type exit and enter so this was all about our cd command of dos or chdir command of linux very very easy to perform and if you remember the steps correctly execution is also very easy so go through the code and do not forget to execute and paste your output beside the code you can get your output in the output window where you can visit window and you get your outputs so this was all about our second assignment of operating system thank you everyone